Okay, next morning, and Tucker's over there cleaning some dust off. Clear skies. Cool. I'm from Florida. These guys are in shorts. <laughs> What's happening? Okay, it looks like uh, I'm gonna go do some flying. Um, Steve's gonna sit in the right seat. And I'm gonna do some uh, flying from the left seat. And we're gonna go out of Chino here, head down towards the desert down by Borrego Springs and maybe do some flying and landings and takeoffs and stuff out of uh, Jackie Cochran Regional Airport down there. It's got big runways, uncontrolled, gives time to play around and have some fun. And uh, maybe we're gonna come back through the Banning Pass and by Riverside and into Chino. So anyway, that's what's happening. I can't wait. Steve was up in the cockpit, went ahead and did the, uh, you know, the pre-oiled it and pulled the uh, the prop through like nine blades. But what happened was, is the left one wouldn't go. As soon as he hit uh, engage, the circuit breaker would pop, did it like three times. So Tucker got in there and in the back there, there's a little compartment on the back of the starter. There's like a little thing that apparently they used to have uh, to where somebody could like wind it up and then the mechanic would actually pull the lever, you know, kind of like <laughs> starting it from the outside kind of deal. And uh, anyway, so he wiggled it and fixed it. So anyway, over and out. Should be fun. Been 35 years. Chino ground, Douglas Invader 3940, one at Aero Trader with Oscar, like taxi 2026 left. November 39401, Chino ground, runway 26 left, taxi via Kilo Alpha, cross runway 21, hold short of runway 26 right at Papa. Okay, 401 to 26 left, hold short of uh, 26 right. Pressure's good. Then we can close the bomb bay anytime you like. I guess right before takeoff, so we still have our way out. Man, this thing feels totally different than the B-25. I think it's nicer. God, I mean, the rudders, there's like no, in the B-25, is it like got nose wheel steering? They're heavy. Yeah, this thing is just, it's like it's on ball bearings. That left one didn't warm up. It took a while last time, so I'm just going to close that door and let's see. I'll keep a good close eye on it for you. Yeah, once you get them started, you know, they run, they purr. <laughs> Tucker, when I went out, taxied this thing out here and did a run-up, man, it was blowing like crap this way, man. It was like, the <laughs> nose was all over the place. Yeah. First, I'm going downwind now. We'll see if it does the same thing. You might have split the power a little bit, but it shouldn't be too bad. We are clear to cross. Okay. Clear right. Yeah, 401. 401 is clear to cross 21, right? Number 401, affirmative cross runway 21, hold short of runway 26, right? Hold short 26, all right, 401. And we could do the run up here or there. I mean, there is probably just as easy. Yeah. Chino ground, clear check 603, clear of 26 left at Papa, requesting taxi back to 26 left. 
I just kind of line it up. Six zero three two on ground wind. That's the DG. Three zero zero eight eight seven zero two nine eight five zero two six left taxi via Charlie. Two six left taxi via Charlie. Six zero three. Okay, brake is set and mixture's auto lean for now and throttle seventeen hundred. I'll push them up once we clear up. All right, 1700. And you're just looking for a 300 drop, right? Correct, twice. Okay, we'll do a feather check. Where's the, uh, okay. Got a load, there's a drop. Load and a drop. Okay. Drops one more time, go all the way to 12. Those prop levers are just naturally stiff on A26s, they're just like that. All right, and you can take uh, one engine to 30 inches and do a back check. We could do it here or at 30 inches. How's the oil tap look? Looking good. 670 on the left and 65 on the right. Okay. You want to check the mags here too? All right, I'm going to go between half and, and a quarter open here for the oil. All right, prop levers are done, feather checks are done, mag checks are done, mixtures. Barrel check, that's done. Okay, before takeoff checklist, shoulder harness, inertia reel, and seat belts lock. Please. Yep. Okay, Bombay cross feed lever off. Is uh, on the cross. Yeah, oh, sorry. Oh, cross feed's off. Okay. Trim tabs? Trim tabs are all zero. Okay. I'd probably go a half a unit up on that, right about there. Okay. And then when the gear comes up, you'll probably have to do about one or two hits of forward. Okay. Okay, hey, fuel selectors, main. On main tanks. Wing flaps. Wing flaps are uh, 17 and a half. Perfect. Okay. Okay, carb air lever is cold. Cold. Mixtures. Mixtures are auto lean. You want to go rich? We can go rich now. Okay, they're rich and locked. Okay, prop levers full increase. Full increase. Boost pumps to high. Boost pumps to high. Okay, pressure is good. Superchargers low. Superchargers are low. Okay, and then cow flaps to half open. I'll go ahead and get that for you. He's just kind of looking at them, huh? Yeah, he kind of sort of guesstimated. it. All right, they're set. Oil doors, uh, we're gonna leave. Uh, I'll go to about halfway once we're about ready to take off. Okay. Okay, canopy, we'll shut, shut the canopy now. On Kermit, on yours, uh, there you go. You have to lift up on that. Watch your fingers. Be very careful. There you go. That's it. Now grab the very top up there and then bring it over. And make sure this son of a bitch is locked, locked, locked. All right, I've got one, two, three pins. You should have four. The only way to know that that thing is locked, if the handle's completely flat and that safety latch will go over the handle. If it is not locked, you'll never be able to latch it. We're latched. OK, 
Okay, canopy is closed, flight controls. My Bravo 121 north of 5, request an air taxi Where? direct over the All right. Field. So, crew briefing. Okay. I'm going to recommend about 110 as a go, no go speed. Okay. So, is there something you don't like, or I'll see, I'll call on a board or holler at you and let you know. Okay. If you don't like something, we'll do the same thing. Afterwards, we'll fly straight ahead. Once we get signal engine Secure, speed, Secure, three, one, we'll Secure, bring it back around. Kind of like our briefing yesterday. Do you have anything to add to it? Or? Okay. And on this one, it's the gear up first. And then after we're still climbing, then we can slowly get the full milk of the flap. Yeah, I usually just go gear up, flaps up. Okay. Now it'll it'll have a pitch down, and it'll, right. you'll feel like you have a lot of deck angle, and you feel like you're plowing. But man, you'll gain speed a lot quicker. Okay. So I'll probably give you like 10 degrees, and then and then uh, yeah, yeah, run them up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, anything you've got beyond that, um, sure, I'll Bob just go ahead. You fly, and I'll run the airplane. Okay. And if we have to punch it out if it's burning or something real bad. We'll verify it, and then I'll secure everything. Okay. All right. And the, uh, okay, so we're looking for that. Okay. Blue yeah. line. 100, 110, and then, And then yeah. and that's the blue line, but what do you normally climb at, 160? What I'll do is I'll, I'll kind of, you know, some guys want to climb steep. Some guys want to keep it right on the deck till they get to blue line and then climb. I like to split that middle. I like to, I like to clear the Chino Hills, thank you. We'll do that for sure. Um, you might feel like you need more pitch than it feels uh, like natural to you. Right. So don't be afraid to pitch up on it a little bit. It'll handle it fine. Okay. Uh, but if you find yourself in the weeds and you're just gaining speed, just pull up on it more, and you might need some trim there. But, okay. Uh, yeah, I can help you if I feel like you might need it, but I think uh, it's going to feel pretty normal to you. Okay. All right. Uh, the left turn out to the southeast, okay. and I'll keep you clear of the airspace. You guys are forgetting something. What's that? I'm not going to tell you. Figure it out. The Bombay. It's not here on the checklist. It is. It's at the beginning it's of the checklist. It's at the beginning. We need to move it to the back because that's our, that's our way out. It's time for landing. Full stop. And you have, you have a green light. It's under your hand. There you go. Hey, let's put that Bombay on here again to the right. Bombay East okay. 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 Yeah. That'll help oh, with that. Okay. Let's put that Bombay on here again to the right. Okay. Yeah. That'll help with that. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Okay, doke. We're all ready to go. You got a guy short final. And Chino Tower, Douglas Invader 3940126 two, left, like a uh, southeast departure. Uh, 401, clear takeoff, 26 left. Great track, 303, contact ground point six. Contact you can use 40, 42 three, inches. Three, three. Yeah, 42 is fine. Perfect. I just watch the oil temps. Roger that. Okay, gear up. Moving. Flaps up. Okay, flaps coming up here at speed. You can go ahead and start your climb. It's going to settle when the flaps go up, so that's a normal thing. Get out, come to one way, Bravo is just, uh, just straight next to the compass road. Request the southwest departure. Initial takeoff parallel 2 1, and we can stay north of Alpha. Flaps are up. Helicopter one more bell ready. Taxi yeah, down to the Bravo 2 4 takeoff, yeah, and flight yeah, to the Yeah, when you get speed on it, it really goes. Taxi yeah. Delta north of Alpha, except for takeoff. And yeah, westbound, you call the left turn. Thank you. When 290 fortune with another 2985. Looks good on the left. Looks good on the right. You ready for climb power? Yeah. What do you go? 30, 35. Yeah. Right, 35.
Alright, oil pressures look good, temps are good. Let's do it, let's do it. I'll give you an after takeoff. Neutral on the gear. Four zero one, free to be changed. Free, have a good one. They just gave you a freak change. Four zero one, free to be changed. Thanks. Alright, thanks. Level off at uh, twenty five hundred. Okay. Make sure we stay below twenty seven here. Yeah. We're good. If you go right a little bit, we'll get you right out of the Charlie, and then you can climb unrestricted. Temps looking good, Tucker. So once we get south of the thing, I can keep climbing. We're right on the line right now, so if you go about another half a mile, you can climb. Okay. Alright, you are clear of the Charlie, you can climb unrestricted. What do you want to go, like 5,500? I'd go to probably... Yeah, you could start out there. If we're going to go out into the desert, we might want to go to like 75. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, because of the top yeah. or top to like 65 yeah. or something. Or cumulus granite. You got an airliner to your left there, so just keep aware of that. Okay. Airliners do come through here to go to John Wayne, so you know what? Maybe we ought to stay low until we get a little further All right. further that way. Yeah, we'll just cruise down to the mountains and we'll go. So we just come back to cruise if you want. Okay, doke. The 3020. Yes, sir. Yeah, now that I think about it, Steve Hinton did tell me that the airliners come through here. Oh, that's smooth. She's a, she's a real Cadillac. Okay, going to Auto Lane. Those pumps are off. Cow flaps are shut. Well, that ain't working worth a shit. <laughs> yeah, I think that thing did take a crap. Yeah. I'm having trouble with this one, too. Yeah, Tucker, both gyros are fucked. Noted. Yeah, I think, I, I think we saw that the last time. Give me a right turn, Kermit. We're still below the Charlie here, but uh, don't want to cut any further left. Yeah, don't go, don't climb anymore, and you're still fine. Okay. That's plenty good. They so just head out that little. It, uh, that down that way is Borrego, right? Yeah, that's it. Head right over there. And I'd give it another 10 or 15 miles, and you can start your climb. Okay. At that airport right there? French Valley. I'd say about 10 to 15 minutes. Thanks, sir. Well, what do you think so far? Yeah, I know it's great. I mean, God almighty, you know, the... I mean, taxing's a hell of a lot easier. Yeah. Even in a climb, we're doing 211 knots across the ground. Charlie traffic helicopter two Romeo yeah, whiskey. She feels really balanced. Yeah, Alpha so you think? one eight for right close traffic. Next Valley. Boy, she runs so smooth. God, I'm it does. Really impressed. We are almost directly on a heading to get to Borrego. It's just on the other side of that yeah. peak right ahead of us. Is Borrego that way, around the mountain, or is that way? Around the mountain to your left. Yeah, okay. Pretty much just right on the other side of that peak. Okay. This peak or the far peak? This, this one here. Yeah.
No, I'm starting to pick up the desert. Yep. Oh, there's the salt and sea. Yes, sir. Getting a little bit of uplift here. Yeah. I was hoping we'd be out of the bumps by now, but uh, I think we got another 1,000, 1,500 feet to go to do that. May not even be worth it. I was kind of looking for the airport, but I don't see it yet. We're uh, point yeah, we're pointing right at it. Borrego right there. Ah. So where's Thermal? Thermal's left. It's over the hill. That green. Oh, so it's up to Salton Sea. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so there's Thermal right there. That's See that right? Uh, yes, sir. Over one seven thermal full stop. Sounds like they're landed south. Thermal traffic, see your X-ray midfield downwind left traffic for runway one seven thermal. Yeah, we can play around down here. Do they run any boats in there? I, I don't think they do. I mean, that's got to be basically seawater as far as I know. Yeah, really. Yeah. They don't allow anybody in there anymore because people have died. Ow. Sickness. Really? Oh, yeah. What, what do you get from getting in the water? Parasites. Oh, that's disgusting. I guess it's just uber saline, huh? Yeah. Yeah, thermal area traffic is just at the 19th station latitude is 11 miles to the northwest, yeah. well, sitting out of 4,700 feet for Yeah, all so, uh, yeah, so what do you want to do? Slow down and maybe like approach to a stall or something, or is it, is it buffet or anything, or? Let's take it to a buffet. I would recommend doing it in a climb. We can slow down that way. I can run your power for you if you like. And we'll recover to 30-20 and uh, just use altitude. You okay with that? Yeah. Two oh eight I think was flat speed. Do you want to do like a departure stall or just uh clean or what were you yeah, Just clean, just see what yeah. it does. I'll take you to about eighteen square just to keep it loaded. And then just a gentle push when you feel the buffet. I'll power you up. Man, that was pretty nose high. Yeah. You should start to feel it pretty quick. Yeah, she's she's feeling really soft right yeah. now. Yeah, there right. it is. Okay. That was about 115. That was about 115. Okay, we can do something with flap. All right. Yeah, that's one thing we haven't done is really figured out where this thing stalls. Yeah, that was about 115 clean. Okay, we'll altitude. Yeah, we'll see what happens, Charity. 120. Yeah, thermal. Area. Traffic is set jet. 110. Station latitude is overhead. Entering left. Downwind to runway 11. There it is. There we go. Cochrane Regional, November 530, Kilo Charlie. Uh, hey, you can really feel it back here. The east yeah, I believe it. For, uh, All right, would you like some gear? Yeah. 
Moving right. Coming left. Now, notice how it quit accelerating here, and we're at about 23 inches. And you're still coming down at 1,000 feet a minute, and it's just barely accelerating. Yeah. Just notice how much drag that gear is. All right, I'm gonna give you about 20 inches. What's that? 15. Alright. 110. 105. That jet 918 is entering. Uh, we're winning a bit. Turn base when we want 7. Cockpit thermal. It actually feels like it's buffeting in the front. Five three zero kilo Charlie. It breaks quick. Huh. Alright. Alright. Here coming up. Runway one seven. Looking for that downwind traffic. Okay, uh, Chad, yeah, we've got you in sight. We're getting ready to try to have a with four flaps, or are you good with those? Uh, oh, that's, that's good. good. Two miles. Okay. Flaps coming up. Five, three, yeah, we go shoot some land at the base here are. at uh, about so, 105. Right, thank you. Uh, I was 100 there. Okay. Okay, flaps are up. And the gear is up, up. and neutral. Well, we could probably just simulate a, you know, an engine out, just flying around okay. a little bit. All right. Go ahead and reduce speed just a little bit for me. We'll do it on. Uh, do you have a preference, left or right? No, let me just turn around here. All right. Okay, I got a right, dead right foot, dead right engine. Okay, I got a right, dead right foot, dead right engine. Okay, I would concur. Oh, where the that's, rudder goes? That's the left rudder, I would go the other way. There you go. See, notice we're only at 2520 on the other one. Yeah, at I this altitude, we we're, we're easily maintaining airspeed here. Yeah, the rudder went the other way, you told me the wrong way. Really? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's cool. All right, let me try some. Okay, so I got it on. Let me turn into the good one. Right. Yeah, easily at, what, 165 here at 2520. And normally you'd be cruising at potentially 4224. Yeah, well, cruising or like... No, I mean like if you're, you you lost the engine three, 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 and you were going four, somewhere, one, yeah. Five, yeah. Oh, that'd be just be me, though. I would probably cruise it. Oh, that'd be just be me, though. I would probably cruise at 3121 as needed. Yeah, you know, it'll do it just fine. You know, if, if you're obviously low and in a bad spot, you use all that you can use. But here, I mean, we're, we're not having any trouble. I mean, we're losing a touch of altitude, but I mean, it's not bad. The airspeed looks fine. I can bump it up if you want to feel it at 3020. Yeah. There's 3020. Temps and pressures look okay, Tucker. Thank you. And the temp's still running good? Yeah, I'm happy with that. A little that. cool on the right. But yeah, I got it closed all the way. Alright, well that's cool. And it would still, it'd be, it just for the hell of it, just bump it up to uh, like 35, you know, 23 or something. Thirty-five twenty-three, and you're in rich. A little bit of a bump. 
pretty good vibration back here. Is yeah. it really? Yeah. Oh, we're doing 170. That's fine. That's the 2300 thing. Okay, you can bring it back up. There's 24. Is it changed? Slightly less. No. Just slightly. Not much. Better there. All right, you ready to have it back? Yep. All right, if we could do kind of a slower airspeed to facilitate warm-up, that'll help. Okay. There's only 120 on the CHT if you trust it. All right, you're back at 2720. If you need to tweak it, feel free. Tucker traffic, level 530. Yeah, sorry about Zero the rudder trim. It's backwards where I'm looking at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no sweat. Our regional traffic, 300 Kilo Sierra, is about six miles to the northeast, inbound for left base, runway 17, Cochrane Regional. But that strip's pretty powerful, isn't it? Yeah, no, that's great. It works really well. All right, what's next? You want to do some landings? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think somebody called in on left. We'll go over here and just come in and make a left. Okay. I think it's below sea level, so probably a thousand feet would be a good. Sounds good. Cocker Regional Thermal Traffic 300 Kilo Sierra, left base, runway 17, Cocker Regional. 114 feet below sea level. Oh, well, that'll be the lowest I've ever been. Oh, come on. I've seen you in a bar below the stool before. Nice one. Just kind of like before, if we have to do a go around, you have the power, I have the props. Okay. And uh, I don't know, just depending on how high we are, we'll do a climb power or a full power go around. You just call what you want. Okay. When we get positive rate, I'll get the gear moving, I'll get the flaps back to uh, 15 initially. We'll get some speed and then we'll bring them up from there. Yeah, I'm going to get this thing slowed down first. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it may take another circuit or two. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Yeah. No, we're putting time on it. I can say we're 10 miles to the northwest to entering a left downwind. All right, so for pattern entry, you're going to do an overhead or just come straight out? Oh, I just, no, well, we're going to do a downwind. Okay. Okay, so we get probably lining up and departing when they 23 to 25 inches. Perfect. Yeah, you know, it's departing to the north. I went to 600, 500. Still quantities checked, hydraulic pressure is up, boost pumps are high, mixtures are coming rich. And thermal traffic, Douglas Invader 39401, about four miles southeast, entering a left downwind for uh, 17. Okay, you probably give me quarter flap if you want. Flaps 15. Or did you want 10? Oh, I'm just going to slow it down. We're sure, there's 10 for you. And thermal traffic, uh, 401 is making a wide left base for 17. I'm uh, sorry, wide downwind. Yeah, hey, you go uh, 20 flap if you want. Flaps 20. Yeah, you might as well go gear down. Gear down. Moving right. Left coming down. Green, got pressure. Okay, flaps and mixed props to go. We got boost on the front. Yes, sir. You can hold what you got right now until you're on. Half mile final. And those speed brakes will come out and it'll slow you right where you want to be. How's the throttle friction? You okay with that? Yeah. All right. Okay, you can give a little more flap if you want. I mean, we're hauling ass. Picture it face clear the room. It will barn door slow down big time. Okay. Okay, flaps and props to go. And 
thermal trust is like get over this groove of trees, I'll give you full flaps. The north of thermal airport is going to be passing through climbing 3000. Let's see that. Right. Thermal. Okay. Full flaps. About 115 over the fence, you ought to be just right. Barn doors, huh? One twenty-five. Thermal traffic style. And you land with a little power on. Yeah. Uh, Three thousand two hundred. Two miles north. Say no less than about eighteen inches. Last call. Thermal. There forward. Very nice. Cow flaps coming open. Yeah, uh, that's how long is this run right? Eighty five. Yeah, I, I easily could have come in slower. Runway is clear. I can't wait to go to 45. If you like. Oh, that's about 42, 45. 40, 40, more than enough. 100. Okay, gear up. Gear up. Flaps up. Moving. Thermal traffic, Cessna 6100 kilos, about six miles to the southeast with Thermal Airport at about now 3,000 feet. We're going to be uh, back to maneuvers down here, just a heads up for anyone in the area. Thermal. Southeast, all right. That's to our right, so we're good. Okay, temps all look good. I don't know where that other traffic is. Yeah, I don't see him either. He said he was 12 miles when he started, but... Okay, have takeoff stuff, sir. Yeah, uh, Douglas 401 is turning uh, downwind for uh, 17 thermal. Thermal traffic, Tumbo 296. Uh, uh, it's on the jet, we're actually about three miles uh, final, one seven, number, uh, thermal traffic. Fuel quantity, hydraulic pressures, check boost pumps are high, mixtures are rich. Carb air is cold, cross feed is off. Hydraulic selector is in system. Emergency brake is checked. Solar harnesses and seat belts are locked. Okay, props and flaps to go. Gear props, flaps to and go. And the gear too. <laughs> Yeah, it might be good. That's here. an important one. All right, he's touching down. Perfect. Can you give me a uh, 20 flap. Set at 20. Hey, you go gear down. Got a left one. Thermal traffic. And a red. Combo 296 to Honda Jet out of the uh, runway 17 and taxi to uh, the search for green. Thermal traffic. Yeah, Douglas 401 is turning left base, runway 17 thermal. Okay, landing checklist is complete minus the flaps to go. Yep.
Okay, props to go. Caution, wait, turbulence. Barn door is deployed. There's a little bit of a cross one. Yeah. 125. Thermal traffic, uh, citation 415, Papa Charlie, departing the area to the south. Oh yeah, 5,000 feet is going to be nothing in this thing. Sorry. Oh yeah, he'll be fine. Locked up the wheels on that one. Say again? Locked up the wheels on that one. Going to the left. Oh, so what did I do, flatten it? You locked it up for like a split second. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, they're touchy. Oh, you wow. got to be careful. Thermal traffic, Douglas Vader 39401, departing to the north, uh, leftbound on 17. Cochrane traffic, Global 530, Kilo Charlie, taxiing from Desert Jet for departure of runway 17, Cochrane. Woohoo, that's a big ass global ass yeah, thing. Buddy. Pause the brake, gear up. Flaps up. Racetrack down there. Yeah, I was looking at it on the way out. Probably cost, probably cost a million bucks to, to join. Yeah. Temps all look good. One's a part in uh, northbound from the left downwind, thermal one seven. You like uh, 2400 RPM? Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, try climbing at 40-24. We do need to put a little pressure on these engines. What's their climb rate right here now? Say again? What's their climb rate? Uh, about 2,000 feet a minute. <laughs> That's awesome. And 190 miles an hour. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, we're hauling balls. Like I said, this is our power setting we run when we're doing air shows on ours. I'll just go to 3,500 feet. I, that'll get us through the banning path and all that. Sounds good. Got a little bit of a shake there. They do that. At 23 to 24, they just have that. 
Actually, it went away when I gave a little power. Yeah. There's just a weird harmonic right in that spot. Tim's looking great, Tucker. Thank you. Yeah, you can come back to 20. I'll let him cool off just for a moment and I'll cruise you up. Yeah, thermal traffic, that's a 6300 kilo. Is seven miles to the southeast of Thermal Airport. It's going to be entering a left downward for only one seven. Thermal. Half takeoff is complete, sir. So that does landing feel, Kermit. Yeah, that, that, they're fine. I mean, I think I get used to the, you know, just how much power and how much deal and just coming in and just letting the wheels spin. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I was yeah. thinking longer to start. And dude, you're you're solid. I want to start closing the oil cooler flap. Okay. Yeah, you're you're solid. Yeah, I just I gotta really read the manual and just get all this in my head. I'm still looking for where everything is sometimes. Yeah, that's gonna happen. I think uh, you get four or five hours in it, you'll be settling right in. Well, we have one more problem to solve today. Yep. Where do we go for lunch? <laughs> well, I mean, if we want, we go into Palm Springs and just see if Fred's there. You're driving. Um, it doesn't bother me. I was just more joking, but whatever you want to do. Well, let's, uh, let me see. Palm Springs, 119.7. Where the hell is the airport? 39401, uh, midfield it. left downwind, and would you like through on section 13 left or right? Oh, we're going to Palm Springs Air Museum, whichever one that works. Number 39401, roger. Uh, again, enter midfield left downwind, runway 13 left, runway 13 left, so then. 13 left for 401, entering a left downwind round. You can do an overhead if you would like. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, Palm Spring traffic. Uh, you care if 401 does an overhead? Number 39401, Roger, normally 13 left. Cleared for the option. After the option, make left close traffic. 401, overhead, and, uh, and cleared for uh, left runway. Number 401, just to verify that it's 13 left, cleared, low approach, and then make left close traffic. Okay, 401, we're just going to do an overhead break. So, yeah, you might want to switch to the yeah. right runway. I will. Yeah, Tyler, I think 401 would like to switch to the long runway if we could. Number 401, roger that. Uh, left break your discretion, enter it left down, runway 13 right. Okay, one three right for four zero one on a left break for midway. Here we go. Okay, we're down to the gear and the flaps for the befores. Okay, give me the gear. Gear coming down. Got a left one. Moving right. Three green, pressure's up. And we're 401, uh, start your base turn. Yes sir, we're turning base. Not like I ain't got enough fucking room. Yeah, I okay. know. Okay, flaps are down, gears down. That's a hell of a displaced threshold, look at that thing. Camarilla is the same way. Yeah, it's, that's really way out there. You see the numbers, right? Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, technically. 
Yeah, I probably gave you a flap pull a little early for that. Yeah, I did. did yeah, that's, that. that's my fault. I did too. Carry oh. a little power. Yeah, you'll be fine. A little extra power, you'll be good. What the hell's that all about? I got rich people. They don't like airplanes. Yes, sir. I'll give it to you right when we roll. Zero one, uh, left turn at Charlie one, and then it'll be a hard left turn on Charlie. Remain this frequency. Okay, thank you. After landing is complete, Marshall is straight ahead. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get the hell out of here. Yeah, I know. We don't have the tow bar, do we? No. Oh, this will be fun. We'll figure it out. Okay, park and brake is set. All right, let's do about to uh, five bay doors open. Okay, we are done with lunch, and we're kind of doing a little bit of a pre-flight, checking things over. Check out my sabers in the back there. Fred bought us lunch, that was pretty nice. Flying out of this big ass airport with this frickin' southwest. Anyway, head back Chino. Uh, the right gear up. Gear up. Flaps up. M four I double zero seven ready when you are. Oh, double zero seven Fox Star Roger waiting right for the week. With that rock there, you might want to start your turn now. Really? Yeah, I would probably think so. Yeah, you don't want to go out and around, you want to go inside this valley. Yeah, so if you have to do it hard, do it hard. Yeah. Not the best departure, but it'll work. It'll work. Alright, my gear's up. Southwest 401, are you familiar with Highway 111? Uh, say again for 401, Highway 101, what? That's 401, maintain DFR at or below 3000 over Highway 111. Okay, below 3000 uh, over Highway 101. Thank you, 401. 401, contact SoCal departure 126.7, see ya. Is that for me? Yes. Yeah, 401, you said uh, 126 what? 126.7 for SoCal departure, have a good flight. 126.7 for 401, thank you. Yeah, I'll just go 2,500 feet, and that'll, that'll get us through the path. Steps looking good. A little bit of rough there. Yeah, we're at that climb power that does that there. I think you got to... Charlie, 007, wind 1306. Sorry, did you want 3020? Yeah. Right, 14 minutes out from Chino, basically this heading.
So we'll go just north of that in the gentle line there, and that'll yeah, okay. keep us free. Uh, Chino Tower, Douglas Invader 39401, just coming in from the north side of Riverside, and uh, like an overhead brake on uh, 2 6 left. So let's try 401 Chino Tower. Runway 26 left turn to 2000, left turns report. Uh, I see on this and I'll just continue. Okay, 401. We're just coming up on a big interstate here in Whitaker. Like we're about seven, eight miles west. East, I'm sorry. Give me half lap. Level this puppy out a little Check bit. for Jake, number one now, runway 26 right. Quarter line treads on a left base to find for the south runway to Douglas. Number one, uh, 26 right, clear to land, looking for traffic, one for Juliet. Jerk, 270, how many laps in the pattern are you going to do? Jerk, 270, you can make left traffic, runway 26 left. Left traffic, 26 left. Four flaps, clear to land, four landings complete. Thank you. Props. Come on, baby. Come on. There we go. That's not too bad. All the way to the end. Okay. Douglas, zero zero Charlie. Cartridge Douglas, four zero one. When able, right turn. Contact on point six. Good day. Point six four zero one. Delta's over by that two sign if you want Check to do that. Check the two seven Zulu. Okay. Uh, short approach approved, right two six left, put for the option. Short approach approved, put six left. Clear for the option, put on the left. Canopy open one more. That's zero zero Charlie, number two fall, Cherokee short front, right two six right, clear to land. Check out the vehicle, uh, Duchess, six seven zero zero Charlie. That's just a zero shot affirmative. Number two, fall Cherokee Shore Fano, or one nine two six. And Chino Ground, Douglas Invader 39401, just uh, pulled off of uh, two six left to Aero Trader. I got busy. It's pretty freaking cool. I got to tell you, thank you guys so much, yeah. man. That well, was a pretty good confidence builder. Well, thank you. After 35 years. Yeah, you've uh, handled the airplane very nicely. If you'd like, you can hit the bomb base switch when you're ready. I'll just, I won't put it all the way in for you to pull it up, Tucker. There's a, there's a guy there who's going to marshal you in. Okay, good. I think that wing's clear. Well clear, both sides. All right, sir. Uh, can I have neutral on the bomb base switch, please? Yeah. Oh, sorry. No sweat. God, this is a pain in the ass with the fucking brakes. There we go. I think I got them, yeah. Okay, they're set. 1,200 RPM for 30 seconds. That's probably 30. All right, 800, we'll saw them off. Now, wasn't there a, uh, didn't we like, you know, scavenge here for a while or something? I can't remember. That's what we just did. Oh, yeah. we just did that? Okay. Yeah. Well, they, yeah. But then, I mean, after this, we shut it down. They usually, like, skip. So just we'll shut it off. Pumps, yeah. And the idle mixtures, at least when they're warm, they're set perfect. You get that teeny little tick up. Hmm. Okay, so. Bags of master. Man. Master. Avionics. Yep, I got
Okay, we are back. Man, we had a fun ride. Went out to Borrego in the desert, west of the Salton Sea. Did some flying around, some stalls, turns, uh, you know, did gear down, flaps down, a little bit of flaps, no gear up, gear up, and that was kind of cool. And then we went into thermal, did three takeoffs and landings, and uh, we were heading back towards Chino, and somebody said, hey, I'm hungry. I looked down, Palm Springs was down there. He knew Fred from uh, the Palm Springs Air Museum, so <laughs> he texted him, and he said, yeah, I'm here, and he hadn't eaten yet, so we all sat yep. down and ate it. I think that was pretty cool. So uh, anyway, we're, uh, Steve's got to go back, and anyway, the airplane seems to be running good. Yeah. Tucker did a great job. You did a great job training me. I think I'm doing okay. You did since a great job. Had flown it in 35 years. You did so a really great job. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, so Chino, over and out. <laughs>